Well, it's that time of day. Morning, everybody. Welcome to Oregon. We're back. The year is 2020, and guess what? Today, we're frying eggs on a fire. Now, you ask yourself, how do you do that when you don't have a frying pan? Well, I guess that depends on you, the cooker. Here, how about this? Boom, check luck up. In the fire. One egg. Wait, that's not going to work. It's cooking. Somebody left the eggshell on. Let's do this, huh? Let's go like this. There you go. Now, still got an egg in the fire. It's cooking. But how in blue blazes are you going to get it out of that fire? That's a dang good question. Because I think that fire is going to eat that egg. Well, we can't have that. So, let's do this. Now you ask yourself, what you doing with that piece of tin? What is that man going to do? Well, here again, if you're out in the woods, and you got to use whatever you can find. This just happens to be laying around. The other side's pretty rusty, pretty crappy looking. This side looks pretty good. If I had to, I could eat egg off there. This thing will warm up pretty dead gum quick. So let's just see if we can't fry us an egg. Just like that. Anybody got any salt and pepper? I'd probably put that on there about now. As you can well tell, the uh, outside's getting white. We're cooking. It don't take that tin very long to heat up, and I tell you what, that's a pretty thick piece of tin. It's a very old piece of uh, barn tin, so back in the day, I think they only made it one gauge, and that was very thick. Now, if they make a paper thin, of course, it's uh, cost accordingly, right? But well, my eggs uh, getting there. We're cooking. My fire this morning had a hard time getting her going. Of course, again, it's been raining for a month. This is uh, coming to the end of January. We're in our rainy season here in Oregon. Been raining pretty hard, pretty hot and heavy. So, we just got to take what we get here. Now, you don't have a spatula. Well, look at there. I got one. Maybe you want to fry a uh, scrambled egg, eh? Let's just scramble her up, huh? Let's just push it on over there. Scramble that dude up, huh? The only caution is you gotta be careful with that tin because it's gonna get mighty hot and you don't wanna get burnt, okay? You don't wanna get burnt. Okay, we're, we're looking good. It's starting to look like a scrambled egg here. You guys want the first bite? Anybody? Okay, that's about half. Cooked or better? Whew, just a tad windy this morning. My God, we got a scrambled egg there, people. And you know what? If I was starving to death, I'd probably eat this puppy. I really would. I'd eat it. But I'm not gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that to my cat. They're gonna love that. So there you go, one fried egg. Ready to eat. Just scrape and uh, eat away, people. Scrape and eat away. Okay, well that was pretty simple. But, if you happen to have, oh, just say you got a rock here, maybe. It's in the fire. This one is not very warm because my fire's not doing as well as it should. But once the rock gets heated up, and you gotta kinda make sure you're level here a little bit. Let's just take another rock and try and stick under that. Level that dude up. Okay. So, you got a rock near the fire. Look where your egg went. You just slid right off that rock. How you gonna eat that? You ain't gonna eat that. That rock. 
not working. So if the rock was hot, it might stop the egg, might slow her down. But you know what? Here in Oregon, we cook them any way we can. So if you want an egg, you got an egg. Whoop, that one's stuck. Woohoo! Now that is fun. So, y'all come. Got plenty. I'll be done in about two minutes. Adios, everybody. This was kind of a fun one.